Hi there, here's a quick video looking at exchange rate data and the ups and downs of the pound against the Australian dollar. So it's quite important to be able to describe the data carefully. This is the external value of the pound against the Australian dollar. It's annual average data and you can see that over the last 15 years or so the, the pound has lost value externally against the Australian dollar but some volatility in between. Both currencies are floating exchange rates between 2006 and 2012, the pound was falling or depreciating against the Australian dollar. In other words, there was a fall in the external value or the external purchasing power of one pound. However, since 2012, there's been a, a little bit of a switch back and the pound now buys more Australian dollars than it did before, just over two in fact, in 2015, there's been an appreciation. So in floating exchange rate systems, we talk about depreciations and appreciations of a currency. Please avoid using the terms devaluation and revaluation. Those apply to fixed exchange rate systems, not floating exchange rate systems. It's quite important to be able to just manipulate the data a little bit in your answer. So if you get a, get a chart like this, instead of just describing the change, for example, falling from two, two Australian dollars, 39, to uh, one Australian dollar 53, instead of describing it, get the calculator out and put in a, a simple percentage change. So you could say the external value of the pound fell or depreciated from one dollar 239 to one dollar 53. This was a depreciation of 36%. Just making the percentage calculation gives the reader, gives the examiner an indication of the scale of the change. And a 36% depreciation was quite a big change over a six year period. Okay, so that's how you describe floating exchange rate movements, depreciations and appreciations.